Hello, happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. It is rainy here and I love this weather, except my dog is destroying my floors with all the mud, but short of that, I love it. I hope that you're having a great Wednesday. Today I wanted to talk about a crime in Texas called burglary of a motor vehicle. You might also hear BMV. It is a class A misdemeanor and there are three elements of this crime, which is breaking into the car without the owner's consent and with intent to take something. And so if you find that you are charged with this type of crime, um, the state is going to have to prove that you broke into an enclosed part of the car. And that doesn't necessarily mean your body has to be in the car. You can be holding onto something and re reach into the car and try to get something. So if something is attached to your person and you reach in, that element is met um, without the consent of the owner. You will usually have the victim say they didn't have my permission to go inside of my car. But the third element of this is that the prosecutor is going to have to show that while you were breaking into the car, you had the intent to take something. So that's interesting because I think there are some really great arguments to be made um, to show that you did not have the intent to break in and steal something. And it'll be interesting also to see what the prosecution has to show that intent on behalf of the criminal defendant. So I think if you've got a case like this, or if you know someone who's dealing with a case like this, you know, that third element is really going to be where I think you can make or break your case. If you are facing this type of a crime, it is a class A misdemeanor that's up to one year in jail and a $4,000 fine or combination of both based on the circumstances of your case and your criminal history you may be eligible for probation but probation comes with a lot of requirements it also comes with a lot of fines and fees so that's something to consider as well there may also be restitution which means that you need to pay back the victim of this crime for whatever damage or whatever property was stolen and um, if you have any questions about that i'd love to visit with you more about that um, I think that this is a case that can be defensible based on the circumstances. And so it's always good to weigh your options and to know what offers are being made and what options you have moving forward because any type of conviction on your record could impact your future. So it's good to know what your options are before you make those decisions. So hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday and a great rest of your week. We'll see you next time. Bye.